Welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh, today we're in Raton, New Mexico and we're heading for Johnson Village which is uh, a new recon uh, and driver 47 site and uh, delivering fuel. It's kind of cool and um, let's uh, I'll show you quickly on the map. Now I'm gonna uh, oh, world map. I'm gonna reroute us like it wanted us to go this way, which was two. Oh, wait a minute. Reset. It wanted us to go 221 miles, but we've been down this road lately, the 50. We haven't been on the 160. No, it's been a while. And the 285, it's been a little while. Um, but we want to go this way just for giggles for something different. And that's 254, so it's a little longer and it's urgent. So. We'll have to get going, but here's the new site. It's Johnson Village. Now this was there, and what Recon's done is made this a fuel stop where we can take uh, to this truck stop, we can deliver fuel. So it's what we're gonna do. I was trying to get one from Cheyenne down here, but uh, it wasn't working out. So I've got this one going, and for some reason I can't get Johnson Village to come up on Truckee. Which is weird, because usually recon stuff does, but I'll, I'll talk to him about it tomorrow, and I'll bet you he'll fix it. So, we got a new uh, skin here, a new truck for um, hauling fuel and stuff, legendary lubricants from Calumet, Oklahoma. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about that on the way there. Um, so, that's, I don't know, it's just something different. Um, I don't know. So the, the you know this is just early days. I just slapped this together. So I'm probably going to develop it a little bit. Uh, yet it's not done by any stretch. So we'll see what we can do to make it a little cooler, if necessary. If you like it how it is, just comment. I'll turn back around out into the yard. See if we can turn around here. Now we hang right. Turn right. After 100 yards, turn left. It's a good turn looking left. tanker, at least uh, I really like this uh, Ruta tanker. So try and get some uh, visuals on the uh, details on it and stuff. Oh boy, oh we're gonna hit <laughs> push that guy out of the way. After one hundred yards, turn right. Well I'll come out of here with the Trail King TK three sixty right. and didn't hit anything with traffic turned on. That was <laughs> quite a trip. It's kind of it's in the video. Can't remember where we're going. So we're waiting for those cars. They, I like the fuel hatches and stuff. Hatches with vents and everything on them. Oh, that's pretty, pretty cool. Look at that. That's different, I think, isn't it? That cab on that uh, crane truck or whatever it was, auger? Or looked like a bigger, taller cab than we've seen on there before. Taller hood line. Speaking of headlines, uh, today, which is yesterday when you're watching this, uh, so what's that, Wednesday? They introduced the uh, 589 Peterbilt, which is going to be the successor to the 389. Yeah, look at that truck. It looks different. So the 389 is, they're going to stop production at the end of this year. Just sad to me is that I love it. I love the 389. But the new truck, there's all kinds of videos all over YouTube about it. And I've watched a few of them. And there's a few interesting things going on with it. Number one, it's uh 
Um, oh, what was I going to say? It looks a lot like the 389 from a distance, so when you're, you know, far away, you're not going to be able to tell the difference until, unless you catch a glint of light not shining off the windshield, because now the windshield is curved. It's not two flat panels like this. This is Ruta's 389. I'm in here, and uh, you got the flat glass on the windshield, and uh, the the new one has a bigger cab. I think the current this one 389 is uh, one point something meters across. They're narrow, like you know, you look right there. There's the other side of it. It's kind of the I don't know, I kind of like it. Kind of reminds me of riding in a lot of hot rods I've been in. And uh, unlike my caddy, which is yards across. <laughs> and, uh, you know, hot rods my brother has had and other people I know in, in the car club. You're kind of close, you know. And anyway, I, li I like this cab. So the new one is uh, over two meters wide. And it's got a big, you know, cur you know, that panel on the right curves back towards you, a lot like the other more modern trucks. So, in other words, they're dragging it into the, they're dragging it into the 21st century, and a lot more creature comforts and driver, you know. So, I mean, the guys who are driving the other trucks are not going to hop in a 389 and go, or a 589 and go, oh man, this doesn't have. Right. Any of the 50 yards, exit right ahead. This doesn't have any of the fancy uh, aids that my exit right ahead. My current truck I'm driving has, like whether it's a Cascadia or a Volvo B and L or After 100 yards, turn left. something with all the bells and whistles. So uh, it's got that going. So so the wider cab is the you know when you get up close you're going to notice that. Turn left. Of note, it's kind of cool, and I think I might have, might have mentioned this only a few videos ago, is that the new 389s, for a couple of years now anyway, from the factory, they got the grass burner exhausts on them, and uh, I think I remember talking about this just a little while ago, so it's an under exhaust, and the stacks are fake, just for looks. And there's options out there to go and have a dealership or a custom shop convert that to real exhaust. And that's kind of just when you think about it on the surface of it, that's hokey as all get out. And all they were doing was keeping the, uh, the look of the older 389s and your 379s, 359s, all the way back to a 351. So what the, the new one has standard dual seven inch stacks functional no more grass burner and so that's pretty cool and the other thing that people are going to like uh, who are traditionalists are the two big 15 inch diameter um, canister style air cleaners uh, the uh, new trucks have two big uh, stainless uh, 15 inches by default and it'll be the only new production truck with that as all the other trucks have under hood air cleaners now even the W900 I believe W900 is doing away for it uh, that 990 anyway doesn't have them but I know in their press release they were going on about them going to be the only one with it and it's got the same, like this truck, the production trucks have a look, that hood's aluminum, not fiberglass. And the fenders are aluminum. And uh, they're staying with that. So the same cycle fenders, you can't really tell the difference from a distance, although the hood has to come back at a wider angle to meet the wide cowl of the cab. And, but it, the indistinguishable radiator shell and uh, vertical and boy I really thought the days are numbered and it was just going to be a slope nose replacement but it's not the same 
grill. So if we saw one coming that far away, we wouldn't know the difference between this truck unless we picked up on the windshield and the wider cab. So, the new 589. So that's going to be, I'm sure, what SES is going to be introducing. Maybe we'll get it as early as uh, Oklahoma when that comes out. And uh, it's going to be interesting. So, and there's still going to be lots of these to drive in the game. And we're just going to have, you know, Bruder trucks and Peterbilt and Pister and Pister and Damo 389 and the uh, um, Dom's 379. So here we are, Alamosa. Home shops up here on the left. shop should be down this little dirt road right here on the left. I'll have a look. Yeah, there she is. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, you know, something new. It's Oh, the other thing too is like with maintaining the basic shape, there is a body line across the door, uh, but it's not a big one. It's not uh, a huge deal. And um, it's still going to be, you know, with the cycle fenders, the big flat sided hood, it's still going to be fun to paint. And you're still going to see the, at uh, custom truck shows, you know, it's going to be right in there at the 389 site predict with guys throwing all kinds of, After 15 yards, turn right. guys will be throwing all kinds of custom paint jobs at it. Turn right. That's a hold up up there. Oh, no, t right on a red, maybe? Must be. So I'm looking forward to getting my hands on it and throwing a paint job on it. I'm thinking for fun. I might just want to put the Al, Al Halcone paint job on it right away just to see you know because I mean that's a quick one to do and see how it looks on there see how it give me an idea where the front fenders are in comparison to this uh, this truck here because it's got the uh, sort of what looks would be the claws reaching out along that light panel line and then curving up that's over true. the going over the curve of the fender so I could lay that uh, paint job on here and see uh, how the uh, the 589 compares so I used a, a script tool I have to do this uh, script in this sort of hammered antique gold the big lettering anyway the little lettering isn't done in that effect I couldn't get the effect to come up and see how that uh, lettering looks like it's kind of beat at a solid material but yeah Rudis this is Rudis polar tanker it's the first time I painted it I've never put a paint job on it before you can believe that so that's going to be a thing that's going to happen a little more with all this fuel delivery from recon Got her absolutely festooned with lights. <laughs> I like that word, festooned. She is lit up like a Christmas tree. A red light up there. Time this. He 
Yeehaw! That was pretty epic. Got a DD-60 in here. Yeah, so I could see um, doing a few more uh, tanker skins. I'm going to do an old school for sure. And uh, what else? Uh, there's another one. I might even... Well, I don't know. That's an antique thing, the Super Test one. Maybe not. I already got it for the Harvins tanker. Keep right. And uh, being a company that's long out of business, I might as well leave it with Harvins. Mm -hmm. Stop! Oh, man. Yikes. That's all the brakes I had. Hopefully... Jeez, that was close. <laughs> wow. Hey, you don't want to run into that thing. It'll wreck your truck. Okay, well, that was a uh, heart in the mouth moment. That train's got a few more cars than normal. Usually they're like nine or something. That'd be 11 or 12 on there. <laughs> Making that sound like a big train. Oh, prairie boy, where the, the train, trains we see are miles long. Wow, there was 12 cars. <laughs> that just sounds goofy. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. So it's going to be interesting to see what that... Uh, 589 actually paints like and what kind of options come with it and do they trick it out a little bit I hope they give it a off right off the bat a better exhaust option than I'm not a big fan of the just straight back uh, turnouts on the exhausts I like uh, uh, like salami cuts or or uh, straight or 45 turnouts but those 90 degree straight back ah, it just doesn't doesn't float my boat oh and other news um, on the Atlas van lines thing that we were driving the other day, I think. Okay, yeah, so what I did with that um, chassis on box, or sorry, box on chassis mod, the drum mod, is I went and found that existing skin in one that would paint on both the truck and the box, and then I went into the box, and I went into the truck, and I found those skins, and I remade them as Atlas and it worked well I mentioned all of this to Polly of Polly's uh, paint shop Polly's custom skins and uh, man he's an awesome dude if you haven't checked his tutorials and stuff he helped me over the fence I'll tell you that I, big help helpful guy good guy and anyway I sent him the info and you know this is what I did this is you know what can we do and Oh, just to back up on Polly, he uh, works closely with the, uh, maybe part of it, I'm not sure. I'm sure he's more than just a uh, patron to uh, Mod Studio 2. So he's got a lot to do with what goes on there, and he uh, fixed up the XML for the K100. And if you do it as an advanced skin, the accessory is the drum box is so when you do an advanced skin the whole deal there is you put a uh, 
uh, a drawing. There's a template for the box, of course. That's a, you know, the, you do your PDN, turn it into a PNG or a DDS, however you want to go, and put it, put that in as an accessory, and click the drawn box, and you go into the paint shop, click the paint job, and it appears on both items without having to go in and. Oh, the other thing is you get to do the two-sided template, the proper template for the K100, because when I did it the other day, uh, the skins that are in the mod are one-sided skins. In other words, there's no script on them, because you're only painting one side of the truck and it's projected to the other side. So that would take lettering and it would reverse it on the other side of the truck. So there's no script. And so now being able to use the proper template, you can put your script and everything on it. So I redid the uh, skin, but I mean, two videos in a row with that combination was enough for now. We'll get back to it another day. And most likely with a different uh, moving van skin, because I think what I'm gonna do, um, I'm doing a little project uh, for something Recon's working on with the, in conjunction with Cinem Toro. And um, that's keeping me a little busy, so I can't do anything else right at the moment. Like I stole a little time away to do this truck and trailer. <laughs> but um, we'll get a uh, maybe the big four or five moving company pack with a K100 and that uh, chassis box and that trailer. That would be kind of fun. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 man, I got her back on her wheels. Wow, we were going a little quick there. What did I do to the truck? Oh, it still runs. Wow. I wonder how much damage we did. 5%. Cargo, zero. Wow, okay. Wow, that's the first time I've done that in an awful long time. I kind of knew that uh, corner was coming up. It's a bummer, you gotta steer into it, like, and uh, it takes you off the road, but uh, yeah, that was my bad. Sorry about that, folks. Uh-oh, now we're gonna run a red light, why not? Yep. When you're an outlaw. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Yeah, so anyway, the, uh, Turn right. I gotta watch some of the, uh, Phantom Lane videos again, because he does, he does ones that are based on the, uh, uh, whatchamacallum, with the old moving vans. Wind his rubber band up tight enough. <laughs> the little rig isn't taking off. And we're almost there. A couple miles. Well, it says 12 here, but it, we're out in the Thule, so it's 19 to 1. So it's like a, less than a mile. There we go again. Ripping around a corner. So the last time, yeah, we've been up here before on this road, but straight right. through in both directions. And I've only driven this way on this road one time in the past. I forget what it was like. I think I seem to remember it was quite nice. 
And I was trying to get that load out of Cheyenne. It would have come this way on it to Johnson Village here. But I uh, couldn't, couldn't swing it. What? That'll be, uh, now that this is... Now that this place is here to deliver to, we'll be sure to do that. Turn right. Come west on this road. And there's our spot. Oh man, we just drive right into it. You have reached your destination. Okay. Well, that's not really hard parking, but. Oh boy, that's uh, I'm still bummed about that uh, little incident there, going too fast around that corner. Just so excited and yakking at you guys. <laughs> uh, I uh, lost my marbles. Oops, I want those on. The lights are off, everything's good. Let's get rid of the load. Yeah, we're on time. So it was a rush delivery, but taking that extra route didn't hurt us. 59 gallons, not bad. Oh, somebody mentioned in the comments, uh, was it, oh, I can't remember, it was Zach or Zeke? It might have been Zach. Somebody mentioned uh, about the um, fuel economy may be tied to the uh, engine size in the, the engine file. So I got to look at that. Be kind of fun to, to understand that. So, um, not 100% sure what I'm going to do with the skin. I don't mind it. It's kind of out there. It's pretty, you know, a little bit gaudy. But if I don't add too much more to it, just leave it with the shield, the lettering, and that's it in black. It doesn't get too busy. I'm going to want to add a bunch of things that would busy it up any more than that because it's a little bit out there with that script. Uh, but anyway, if you guys like it, uh, give it a thumbs up and let me know because uh, I'll, I'll put it out as a skin pack or something. Uh, if that's the case, might put it on more trailers like the, um, oh, our friend uh, KSW, his, his tanker is pretty nice too. And you can get all the combinations with that one. You know, um, doubles and B doubles and triples and all kinds of stuff. And um, yeah, so anyway, guys, thanks for following along. I won't bore you any further. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care and bye for now.